In this video, I'm going to show you how you can play back recorded video from an NVR or DVR using the DMSS app. As you can see, we already have the DMSS app installed. It's available on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the DMSS app. It's going to take me to the home screen. Here I can see I already have a device connected. This is our Office NVR. So in order to get to the playback of the recorded storage, I'm going to go to the playback tab. So I'm just going to tap the playback button at the top. It's going to pull up the playback screen. In here I can go ahead and tap the plus button in the center. I can pull or expand my Office NVR. And then I know channel 1 has some good recording on it. So I'm going to tap the first IPC. Here we can see I have some recording from this morning after turning my NVR on after getting in the office and it's just pointed outside of our office here so I can play this video as it goes I could pause the video using the pause button here I could play that video by pressing the pause button and making it play again the second option here just so happens to be playback speed now the playback speed is going to depend on your NVR and your camera as to how fast you can actually do playback but you could certainly do two times playback four times playback and then with some NVRs and cameras you can do eight times playback however the playback feature can be pretty tricky so you just have to play around with it until you get it to do the playback speed that you're requesting then on the third option here we have a play button with one what that does is it goes ahead and pauses the stream it plays back or tries to play back the substream However, we have no substream recorded, so it's not going to play the substream. If this camera had audio, I could tap the speaker icon on the right to listen to the recorded audio on this channel. Now, if I wanted to take a snapshot from recorded video, let's say I'm not at home and I'm just reviewing my footage, but I have something that I want to capture, I would press the camera icon on the left-hand side. That's going to take a snapshot and save it to my iPhone storage, which I can review at a later date. The same goes for taking video. I would play the video first and then press the record icon and this is if I wanted to export a clip directly to my iPhone and then I could tap that icon again to save the recording to my iPhone. Then for exporting the video I could tap the scissors icon it tells me that I can play the recording and then whenever I want to stop the exporting I would hit the stop button and it says, are you sure you want to download the recorded clip? In most instances, you're going to want to click OK to save the recorded clip. However, I don't really care about the clip that I've recorded, so I'm going to click Cancel. And again, those clips can be viewed at a later date. The last button here is for AI functions. This particular camera does not have any AI functions set up. However, if you press that button, it would allow you to go through those events that were created from the AI event. At the top right-hand side, you can add more cameras to the playback screen by tapping them and clicking start playback now to go between the two channels that I've just added to the playback I can press hold and drag and drop to remove them or I can swipe left or right to go between the playback channels that I have pulled up as you can see I'm swiping left and right and able to go between these two channels Hopefully this video helps you use the DMSS app to play back video from your NVR or DVR. Thank you for watching.